Hamilton Library. Today I'm going to be showing you guys some yoga moves. Today we're going to do the ABCs of yoga with Emma today. So she's going to show us a pose for every single letter of the alphabet. So, of course, we start at the beginning we'll with the letter with A. Airplane. airplane. Great. Go ahead, So, Emma. lay on your stomach and then put your arms and legs in the air and then can you go side to side like you're flying. Or you can take those arms and put them behind you out to the side as well. And go Good. Alright, how about B, Emma? B. We're going to do a bridge. So, we're going to lay, we're going to sit with our knees out, and then have your arms down, and lift up your stomach, so it's a bridge. Good. Or you can lay all the way back on your back too, all the way back on your back, and then just lift up from your hips. Good, perfect. So to do cat and cow, you wanna be on all four arms and legs, and then you're gonna take one leg out, and then you're going to crunch in like a scared Halloween cat, and go meow. And then go out and say no. And if you don't want to have your leg up, you can just keep your legs down. I'm going to do it with just your legs down. And then out. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. All right, good job. So let's go on to D. Dinosaur. So you just want to stand up and put your, your hands on your shins. And then look up, watch walk where you're going. Around. That's a dinosaur walk. Great job. How about E? E elephant. So put your hands together. And that makes and your then, trunk. Yes. And then you can spring them side to side. And go ahead and lean over so you're stretching out your back. Perfect. How about F, Emma? Um, a frog. So just squat down. And then we're going to jump up like a frog and go ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Great. That is how you do the frog. G. G. Um, so you go onto your leg. Put and your then, knee, huh? And then take yeah, that your leg knee out on the straight. ground. And then the leg out straight, your arm up. And that is... And you can lift that top leg up if you want to. Or if that's too much, you can just put it down on the mat. How about H? For H, yeah, happy baby. So you're just going to, you're going to put your knees in and hug your knees. You're going to go on your back then too. You can do it like that. Or you can go all the way back on your back, turn to the side, and then grab onto your big toes and then pull them up. And then pull your head and shoulders up off the mat too. Doesn't she look happy? <laughs> all right, so come all the way on up for I, which is just inhale. Crisscross applesauce with those legs. Deep breath in here. And exhale it out. Good. How about Jay? Um, for Jay? We're going to do Jaguar, and so we can just go on all fours. That's it. Yeah, mm -hmm. and then similar to the cat, and then you can put one arm out and your opposite leg out. Good, and then switch. Eight. So that's J for Jaguar. Good. And then do you want to do K? How about kite? Yes. So you're going to put your hands up like this, hands together, and then you can bring them up. And then lean side to side like you're a kite blowing in the wind. Good job. On to L. So we're pretty much halfway through the alphabet at this point. So 
How about lion? For L? So go on all fours and then I will lean back and then come up and roar. So I'm going to lean back and come up and roar. Oh, you can do better than that. Roar! <laughs> Good job. So for M, how about, before you get up, how about mouse for M? So, so it are my the same thing, yeah. like back like this, and then put your arms back. Because you kind of curl in. Because mice are teeny tiny, so we're going to ball up teeny tiny, and they get in teeny tiny spots. So good. Now N, how about for N, you do a new pose, Emma. So a new pose that I made up is night and day. So the sign comes up, so we're just going to lift those arms up. And then your head comes up, and it's all bright. And if you can look up towards the ceiling or the top, and then you're just going to, for day, arms down, and then your head comes down, and then again a couple more times. Thank you. Good. That's N. So when I will go on to O, how about otter? So you're going to. Go on to like all four and then you're just gonna put your legs back and just lay on your stomach and then take your arms and push up. And you don't have to go quite as high as Emma, so Emma goes pretty high up. So if you can only get just your if you're on your forearms and just your forearms up off the mat, yep, that's fine. If you can get your whole body up and look up towards the ceiling, do it one more time for me. Good. And how about P now? We are going to do a peacock. So we're going to sit with your legs out and then put your arms up and down to make the feathers. And now you're a peacock. Good. It comes after P. Q. So for Q, that's kind of a hard one, but we came up with Queen because you can be pretty royal. So Emma's going to take her crown. And you're going to just put it on top of your head. So arms up, reach for the crown, and then put it on your head. And as she's pulling those arms down, she's going to pull those shoulders away from her ears. There you go. Good job. One more time. And for R, that's next. Rag dog. So, which is you're just going to um, have your arms down and touch those toes and move around like a rag dog. Just hold those arms nice and loose, but round that back in, head down towards your legs. Great job, Emma. Let's go on to S. So, for S. We are going to do a slide. So to do a slide, you are going to first go on your knees and your arms, and then you're just going to take those feet and push up into a slide. So your feet are the rungs. Emma's going to put her head down so it's right in between her hands. and. Those backs of her legs are the little um, steps that you climb up, and then she's at the top of um, her slide, and then she's going to push those arms out so that her, there you go, so that her back's at about a 45 degree angle, and that's her slide all the way down. She's got her head tucked in so that her head, there's no bumps in her slide, so everybody has a nice safe ride all the way down. Great job on that, Emma. So, um, T. T we're going to do telephone. So we're just going to sit crisscross applesauce and then and then you are going to take your foot and you're going to bring it up to your ear. 
And then and do then the other side. And then you can side. do the other side. Good. Oh, this is dirty. <laughs> How about you, unicorn? So for unicorn, it's kind of like cat and cow. So you're going to go on your floor and you're going to go one hand and a finger as your horn. And then you're just going to do the same thing as the cat. Go jump and then show your horn. And that is the unicorn. Good, and then we're going to go into ball side. And then you're going to put the leg, bring the leg up and keep your balance. And if you can, whenever you're steady, you can kick. I'm going to try on the other side. And then the other foot. There you go, and kick. So that oh. is your warrior position. Great job. So next W and that, how about X? X are just going to cross our arm like this and cross our arms and try to touch our toes with our opposite arm. Good. And let's do a Y for yoga. <laughs> so feet together and then you're just going to put your arm up and over so it makes a Y. And last but not least, Z, and we're going to do the zero pose. So you're going to so go in there. You're going to sit down and you're going to crisscross applesauce and you're going to make a circle. And then if you want, you can go around the circle and then other side. All right, ABC's with Emma. Thanks, everybody.